Hey guys, it's Music Tech Help Guy, and today I want to show you one of my favorite techniques to create spaced out synth leads. Real quick, I want to talk about the sponsor for today's video, Hummit. Hummit is a free social music discovery app that syncs with Spotify so you can discover and share new music. Share songs and stations from your phone without the need for URLs. Listen to music shared by people with similar interests, discover new artists, share snippets of your favorite songs, and chat with friends. Whatever vibe or genre you're looking for, Hummit's got a station for that. And if you're a producer, an artist, or you're in a band, you can create your own custom station to build your music following. So hop onto Hummit and enjoy a new social media app made for music lovers like you. Okay, so I'm gonna start from scratch and show you how to create this synth lead from nothing. So basically I just have a software instrument created here. I have the limiter on the end of it just to control clips. And for the instrument, I'm gonna load up the ES2. So I'll just load that up in stereo. And I'll choose one of the lead presets here. I'll just go with this fusion style lead. And uh, this sounds like this. Pull it up an octave. Okay, I'm gonna add in another oscillator here. Pull it down an octave. I'm gonna get rid of this cutoff effect here. It's gonna get rid of some of the click on the front end, but what's also gonna get rid of some of that click is to change the oscillator start down to soft. It's a little bit of click still, but I think without that filter, triggering, it's gonna sound a lot smoother that way. And there's probably some other things I could do to smooth it out, but it's fine. I don't need to really do too much to it at this point. I will pull up the cutoff on the second filter here. Okay, so I've got a good starting synth lead. Now what I want to do is I wanna add not one, but two space designers to this. So I'll add space designer first. And the first space designer is going to be a, a custom sample effect. I've demonstrated this before on the channel, but in Space Designer, you can actually drag and drop any audio file into this area, and it'll convert that audio file into a custom impulse response that you can use as a custom reverb effect. Now, you can find loops and samples anywhere you like on the internet. You can find them in Logic's loop library. I prefer using Splice, but you don't have to have Splice to do this. There's one sort of ambient loop that I really like here that I think fits really well uh, for this instrument. So this is called Alien Artifact 5 from the Ambient Gems collection. And what I'm gonna do is drag this in here. And what that'll do is create a custom reverb out of that sample. And like I said, you can do this with any audio file. The only thing that's tricky here is if the size is at 100%, the effect is gonna sound really low and slow and sort of down-tuned. And the reverb tail is just gonna carry on and on and on and on. So I'm gonna pull down the size a bit. I'll make the low spread a bit more narrow. And then you can blend the wet and dry signal together to taste. You could add a filter in here if you wanted to. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do that under the output EQ. I'm gonna filter out some of the low end just to control any low end buildup in the bottom end. Let's see what that sounds like now. Cool, so I've got this really cool like delay effect or reverb effect that you're not gonna be able to create with any other traditional reverb or delay, but it does sound a bit jarring because there's no reverb on the dry, the actual dry signal of the synth. So it, there's like this really ambient effect plus this bone dry synth. So what I like to do is either before or after this reverb, I'll try both, you can add another space designer or another reverb of your choice. And I'll just go with one of these large plates. I'll go with the shimmering plate. And then you can sort of use this as a traditional reverb effect blended with this custom sampled IR effect.
So again, just the original synth, just the ES2 lead sounds like this. And the effect with the reverb and the custom sampled IR sounds like this. And there's this big, nice, lush soundscape that's surrounding the synth lead. Now, like I said, you can try putting the reverb before or after. Let's try putting it after, so I'll just reorder the space designers. Yeah, I think I like that effect better. Um, it's subtle, but there is a difference. Now, the next thing you can do is you can also pair this with some synthesis modulation within the instrument that you're using. And this doesn't have to be the ES2. I'm just using the ES2 because I like the ES2. But what I'm going to do is use my monogram controller to learn some knobs to some modulation controls within the ES2. I'm using the monogram controller and I'm using my Novation Launchpad Pro, but you do not have to use these two specific MIDI controllers. You can just use a traditional MIDI controller, keyboard controller, if you like, as long as it has some knobs or faders that you can assign to different modulation parameters. So what I'll do is press Shift Option K. This will pull up the controller assignments window. And you can see I've already pre-learned some controls, but I'll just delete these and start from scratch. And all you have to do is just click learn mode, then click on the knob that you want to learn. So I'll click on this cutoff knob and then move the knob or fader on the MIDI controller that you want to learn it to. The main thing you got to remember is some MIDI controllers in Logic, you have to manually set the minimum and maximum uh, MIDI value. And this is just a data byte value. So you just set this to zero to 127 if you want the full range of motion learned for that control. So now I can control the cutoff frequency with this knob. And I can do the same thing maybe for the resonance here. So I'll just turn learn mode on, click on resonance, move that knob or fader, make sure the min max is set to zero to 127. And you can limit the range. Like I may not want the resonance to go all the way up or all the way down. So I might choose to set this to like 20 to, I don't know, 108. Then I'll just turn learn mode off and let's see what that does. So now when I pull this all the way up, it doesn't quite get all the way up to the top of the knob. And if I pull this all the way down, it doesn't quite get to the bottom of the knob. So now I can use these two synth parameters along with all the other effects that I've added here. <laughs> And you know, the sky's the limit because you're only limited to the number of modulation controls you have, and you're limited to the number of knobs and faders you have on your MIDI controller. In addition, you can also try modulating some of the controls within Space Designer as well. Although some of these controls, like the size parameter and the length parameter, you're not going to want to mess with those in real time because the processing in Space Designer will stop and pause for a moment. It'll load the new size and length parameter and then start working again. So there are certain parameters that you can't control. But if I wanted to, for example, control the wet signal of my alien artifact effect, I could learn this to a fader or knob on my MIDI controller. And now I can control how much of that alien artifact sampled IR I'm getting in the sound. So if I just want some, you know, like a traditional synth lead, I can pull this all the way down. If I want more of it, I can roll it up. So now I have dynamic control of that effect as well. So to demonstrate what you can do with this, I'll just try jamming out to this backing track a bit.
so the possibilities are endless with this. You can create some really, really spaced out, heavily modulated leads that are both synth leads and sound effects in their own right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching. <laughs>